everybody welcome back to my channel so i have no makeup on and i am standing in front of a window which makes me look very white right now okay so for today's video it's a little bit different than what i normally do on my channel but um we are actually going to be doing a diy vanity made out of wood um from those wood pellets um in a little bit, I will show you the wood pellets I'm talking about. And we actually got them for free from a lady nearby where I live. And she um, told me that she had so many and that she um, just wanted to get rid of them. So she was like, come and take as many as you want and do what you want with them. So being quarantined um, has made our minds become creative. So that's a good thing. So right now, recently, I do have a vanity and I've done a vanity tour on my channel. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. And okay, the lighting got bad. <laughs> go check out that video if you haven't seen it. But um, for some reason, I want a wood vanity now. I saw a picture of a wood vanity and I'm like, wow, like, that was like, really good. So. I, excuse me, I had Andy kind of think about this and figure it out so that way we can get started on it. So today we are starting the project. Um, I'm gonna include it all in this video. So it's gonna take a couple days to finish it. So this will be day one. And um, I'm just waiting for him to get home from work so we can rock and roll on this project. So I'm really excited. Okay, so. What we need for this project is your pallets, the wood pallets, and then what else did you get? So we got uh, about six wood pallets over there. You can find pallets anywhere. We got those for free off of Facebook, mm -hmm. off of Facebook. And then um, I went to our local lumber yard and got a couple of the joints of wood. Um, these, I don't know the exact size, but this is gonna be the tabletop for where she's gonna use as her tabletop for makeup, everything like that, to put everything on top of it, basically. And if you can't get your hands on some wood like this, you can always use just the wood pallets from the pallets, from the pallets after you're done making the, like, what is it, like the frame part. Yeah. You can always just use those same pallets or those same pieces of wood to put on the top. Yeah. And then, and then these are a little thicker. This is gonna be the legs for the whole vanity. So I bought two joints of these, depending on how high it's gonna be. I figured better safe than sorry. And I you want two. those a little bit thicker, right? Yeah, these are gonna be more thick because they're gonna be more, thicker is more sturdy. As to thin, it'll be more wobbly, it might tip over or something. So thicker is more heavy. On all four legs, it's gonna sit down pretty neat. Pretty neat, yeah. And then this piece here is a thin piece, and this is gonna be for the back wall. We're gonna use two of these. Uh, this is a 10 footer, but I'm gonna cut it in half and I think that'd be the perfect height. So five foot high. Um, this is gonna be the back, the back legs, I guess you could say. And we're gonna put the mirror on here. We're gonna put boards across and then there's gonna be a mirror. So also boards. too, this is a really handy vanity because you don't have to make holes in your walls to put the mirror, to hang your mirror up, you can just put the mirror on the actual vanity wood. The tools I'm gonna to be using is, I have a driver drill here, and I have- um, Carly. The set of nails I got from Walmart, it actually came with the right uh, drill tip here for these nails. It's a star pattern. Um, you don't need to use a drill. If you don't have a drill, you can use a hammer and nails, keep it classic. It'll work just fine. Um, I've done projects with hammer and screws and it's been sturdy and worked fine. She still has a piece that hasn't came apart, so hammer and screws still works. Uh, I got some sandpaper here for sanding after we do cutting. Uh, I'm gonna use a table saw, but you don't need a table saw. If you're really good at straight cuts with just a hand saw, be my guest, but. Or if you know anybody that has a table saw it's only just to cut a few pieces yeah. of wood yeah that way you don't got to spend your money yes and these i got from home depot 
It came in a pack of five. It's wood sanding paper. And don't they come in sponges too? Yeah, they come in sponges. There's, they sell them in all sorts of different ways, but these papers I like really well. And, and you're gonna need them because- They're budget friendly. You, you are gonna need the sand paper, not for the new pieces of wood, if you decide to get new pieces of wood, but for the wood pallets, some of them come already like with wood sticking out. So you really wanna make sure you sand it down before you put it in your space where you want it. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Now we can start, start on the project. I'm gonna be using a hammer to take apart the pallets, all the old wood wood pieces. I'm going to pull out all the old nails and those are going to be used for the sides of the desk of the vanity. So we can begin that now. Okay, so here he's just going to take away the pallet, I mean the wood from the pallet. And then these are the pallets that we got. We tried to pick the ones that were like the best condition. But if you can see here, some of them are broken and these little pieces of wood this is why you need to sand it because you don't want this to be on you or to get wood stuck in your fingers so these are all of them i think we got a total about maybe one two three four five six we got six so that should be more than enough for the whole project Six legs here, but I'm gonna go with the four because these four because I use the ends of the wood joints so they're more flat as to my cut in with the handsaw here. Uh